Hey guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to the Technology Architect Complete Course. So in the last video, we talked about architecture characteristics and we started off with the first one, the operational architecture characteristics. Now the second one, uh, structural architecture characteristics. Before we begin this, I wanted to give you a complete roadmap of where we are headed and what we're trying to do, okay? So what we're doing right now is basically uh, learning the process on coming up with the architecture, okay? So the first stage for that process is this architecture characteristics. The second stage is going to be uh, finding, just a second. Okay, the second stage is going to be the decision criteria for choosing a particular architecture. And the third stage is going to be, let me zoom out and find the third stage. This is a huge diagram, really sorry. The third stage is going to be uh, then selecting the architecture patterns. And so all of these stages have their own sub points and we'll learn about all those different sub points, right? So um, eventually, right, after we learn all of these things, eventually we want to reach a place where we can start understanding what an architecture of a particular application looks like. So I've kept some examples here. So for a web basic web application, this is what the architecture would look like. Basic serverless would look like this. A reactive e-commerce would look like this. Now they won't make any sense to you right now. And that's completely all right, because we have to still go through this entire material before we can start talking about these. And uh, after a while, we'll be talking about some uh, architecture patterns, right? So event streaming, event sourcing, offline first database, all of these. And then we want to reach a place where we can start solving our own problems. So let's say we'll take up some exercises like architecting a complete social media platform. And uh, then we'll be able to break it down. We'll be able to break it down to different stages. So the stage one, like I showed you, is architectural characteristics. Second stage is decision criteria. So we'll take two types, technical and operational. And then we'll define the architecture to be used based on all of these criteria that we have outlined. And um, the outcome of this kind of an exercise, let me show you what it looks like, what it's going to look like. So if you go to Cloudcraft, this is my Cloudcraft account. And let me just quickly log in. Yeah. So as you can see here, this is the uh, architecture for the social media uh, exercise, right? So we did this exercise and this is the outcome that comes out from it. And this is where I want you guys to reach after a while. Now you have to understand that coming up with an architecture is no big deal, right? You can just make any diagrams and uh, you can start justifying it. But the process of coming up with the architecture diagram, the depth of understanding that you have, the reasons why you chose a particular architecture is going to make all the difference. It's going to ensure or uh, you know make the difference between an architecture that does not scale and an architecture that scales really gracefully. And also uh, as some of you might be preparing for uh, architect positions in startups or in other companies. Uh, you would also need to get some kind of a nuance to your uh, thinking, right? And that can only come when you have a deep understanding of how uh, architecture works. So let me zoom back in to this entire roadmap. So this roadmap is what we are going to have to go through uh, before we can start having complete understanding of uh, you know, the architecture. So I've zoomed out everything. This is the complete roadmap that we'll do all of this whole thing. When uh, so we'll build up our knowledge to a place where we'll be able to do those, those exercises based on these learnings, then we'll be able to create those architectures, right? The architectures being this, which is the final outcome, the conclusion. And we'll do multiple exercises. We'll do more than 10 exercises to help you get uh, really comfortable with creating architectures. But like I said, the end result, this diagram is not important. The way you reach the, that to that diagram, the way you can justify it, the depth of your understanding the uh, the considerations that you kept in mind to come up with the decision that's very important so this is what i want to share with you before we moved on to the next uh, architecture characteristics which will be in the next video uh, and i just want to show you this roadmap of where we are headed right so we'll be basically creating our own architectures so thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you in the next video